Oh, no, no, no! What the heck is going on? Back Bro Jagger back for a brand new Minecraft video, guys. And today we're gonna be checking out some of the craziest and largest Minecraft mobs I have ever seen in my entire life. But yeah, guys, anyway, real quick, before we get into the mobs, make sure to go smack the heck out of the like button with your magic wand, which is what I have right here. And guys, if this video gets over 1,000 likes, I will make another episode of just fighting giant Minecraft mobs. Because today's mod, guys, if you just look right here, we have so many different mobs that I'm not gonna be able to show you all of them in one video so if you guys want to see a part two and maybe even a part three of me just showing you all the different stuff from this mod make sure to go slap that guy the like button with your magic wand but yeah guys anyway now that that's out of the way we can go over here what's up bestie how's it going you should probably be careful so yeah today guys we're gonna be checking out 12 of the mods now these are the most insane ones that i could find from this mod but keep in mind that there are like 40 to 50 minecraft mobs from this mod that we're gonna be checking out so let's grab all of these let's place them in all the different slots in my inventory and we also have two giant demon mobs so each of these mobs is kind of like their own sort of entity they spawn in different biomes they all have their own unique attributes so uh yeah as you can see they also spawn around your world naturally so those are some of the giant minecraft mobs that you can see over there now they're all kind of like kind of like doom inspired mobs they all have this rpg feel to them so yeah these ones i believe are called yells we're not going to check them out these are kind of like the lesser mobs but trust me there are some freaky looking mobs in this minecraft mod all right guys so now that we have all the mobs in our inventory i need to head into this chest right here i want to be careful that i don't accidentally place out a mob or it could go very very bad but yeah we're gonna open this chest here and notice that i have a bunch of armor because we're gonna be fighting each and every one of these and also a neat thing about these ones is that some of them will actually fight villagers as well so we have two unique weapons from the mod now this mod has a bunch of different weapons that you can get but these are just two of them that we're gonna be using today we have some diamond swords we got some bows and arrows and we also have some golden apples just so i don't die so i'm gonna real quick sort through my inventory and then we will commence fighting. Alrighty, guys. So here we have the first giant Minecraft mob. This one is called a Zoatar. Now, these things will spawn actually in a bunch of different planes by them. So these things look flipping scary. Now, keep in mind, in this mod, it also allows you to tame a bunch of the mobs, which I'll hopefully be showing you guys in part two. But for now, guys, we're just going to be fighting these guys. I also sort of forgot to mention that these mobs, for some reason, hate villagers. So as you can see, the Zoatar back there is just hugging the villager. That actually looks really dang funny. But yeah, if you look over here, you'll notice that if I kind of just push him along here, he doesn't want to go into water, but yeah, uh, he will actually kill the villager. I don't know why they, they just like eating villagers. They like eating flesh. So hopefully they don't like me because I'm like half villager, half zombie. So maybe they won't want to eat me. But hey guys, this thing is just an absolute beast. Now, as I said, it spawns in like planes by him. So actually like right over there, it would be a nice spot for it to spawn in. But everything in this mod is so flipping crazy. They look like flipping demons. So we're going to go into game mode zero here and we're going to see if I'm going to get attacked. All right. What's up, buddies? How's it going? Now, do you want to kill me? I I'm a zombie, so you might not want to kill me. Uh, it looks like, oh, oh, okay, never mind. They do want to kill me. What about you? Are you eating? You ate Bessie? Are you kidding me? You ate Bessie? That's it. You're done now. You flippin' ate Bessie. Are you flippin' kidding me? Now I gotta go find a new Bessie. This is not acceptable. Are you... I, I hate this dude. This... I hate him. Well, rest in peace, Bessie. That's like the third time she died, guys. But, um, hopefully she'll live on. That, that Those are Bessie's bones. That is Bessie's body. And she is gone. But hopefully there's a new Bessie that I can find around here. All right, yeah, that's right. This was your fault, too. I'm gonna take you out. Now, the weapon I'm using actually spawns in some sort of spell around them. So, yeah, you take that. That's right. Guys, I'm really sorry you had to see Bessie die, but we need to keep moving on. Next up, we have the Aerosaur, which I believe is one of the neutral mobs from this game. So, yeah, these will spawn in forests and jungles, and you can see it's pretty much just a giant dinosaur made of grass. So, they're very neutral. They won't eat villagers. They're not flesh-eating mobs, but they will eat a bunch of leaves from the trees and stuff like that. So, let's see. What happens if I go into Game Mode Zero? Let's see if I attack him. Will he indeed fight back? Because this thing is a giant beast, but it's a giant herbivore. Oh, oh, okay, good. It looks like he's running away, so he doesn't look like he wants wants to attack me but this is one of the larger mobs from the actual mod so let's see i don't want to kill him. look he seems so nice he is gonna break my house though so i might need to take him out let's see what drops he has i believe he drops some pretty weird things like yo that is meat apparently even though he's a herb before he drops some raw rs or meat all right, I feel kind of bad that I killed that giant dinosaur beast. So I'm going to spawn another one over here. I'm going to let him feed on the trees. But anyway, guys, next up, we have something called an Etin. Now, I spawned in a bunch of villagers. So this dude is probably going to go eat them. Oh, my goodness. This is a giant two-headed ogre. 
Oh, these mobs are actually like really scary. But it looks like he's going straight for the villagers. Guys, watch out. You guys, you guys really better watch out or else you're gonna die. Uh guys, there's a giant at and do you are you not listening to me? You guys are dead. Oh no, oh no. Oh, he's going for the babies. Don't oh, he's breaking all the blocks. Alright, guys, I need to save the villagers. That is my goal today. Even though I don't really like villagers, I need to save their butts. Alright, alright. So, oh, okay. I have him on my tail now. Let's shoot him with the scepter. There we go. Take that. Oh, he doesn't even really get knocked back. Alright, let's try this one right here. There we go. There we go. We're gonna spawn in our little minion to fight him. Alright, there we go. Nice and easy. The, the end's not too bad. It's just when there's other mobs that are around him that do a lot of different damage. Alright, so we should take one more hit to the face. Yeah, that's right. I'm gonna snipe you in the face. Oh, okay. There we go. Alright, let's actually see. Wait, how much damage does he actually do? Let's see. Oh, wow. Alright, it doesn't do that much. Especially because I have full diamond armor on. But that thing would probably do half your heart if you didn't have any armor. So let's finish him off. Bam! Just like that. He drops some wood. He drops some coal. Why, why the heck did he drop coal? Alright, guys. But yeah, that was the end. Next up, we have a tarantula. Which I'm, I'm sure you guys know what tarantulas are. But this is a tad bit different. Alright, alright. Yeah, it is just a giant lifelike spider that will jump at you. It is poisonous. So you need to be careful. And he leaves a giant trail of poisonous webs. Oh, yeah. That, uh, what happens if I walk into these bad boys? I believe. Okay, good. I don't get poisoned. Oh, but he's actually on my tail. Okay. I'm getting a lot of poison damage from him. Alright, so let's snipe him in the face. Oh, he's jumping at me. Alright, this is getting a little bit scary. Uh, villagers. Villagers, guys, I need help. I saved your life once. Alright, we should be able to snipe him in the face. There we go. He doesn't have a lot of health, though, which is nice. And then, bam, he is dead. Alright, so yeah, the tarantula, not too crazy. That wasn't too bad at all. But next up, we have the concopede, which is pretty much just the uh, the demon version of a centipede. So yeah, there we go. Oh, oh, this is creepy, guys. I don't really like bugs too much, especially ones with really long legs. So this is creeping me the heck out. Okay, oh gosh, oh gosh. They're, they're pretty much just a bunch of different bugs that will kind of connect together. So let's see. Uh, what are you guys doing? Alright, it doesn't look like they're they're generally hostile. So let's see. Wait, if, if, if I punch you in the face, are you going to hurt me? No, it looks like they kind of just want to mind their own business. Nothing too crazy here. Yeah, there you go, guys. I'm sorry. I'll leave you guys be, even though you're really scary. Ew, that's disgusting. I got to get away from these guys. So, yeah, those are the concopedes. Not hostile, and they won't really mind anything. They'll just kind of mind their own business. So, yeah, I'll let you guys run off in the distance together. I believe that they can get pretty dang long as well. So, if I spawned in, like, a bunch of them, they would all connect together and make a giant, like, 100 meter long just centipede. All right, guys. But anyway, let's keep moving down the line. I'm actually going to gap it up because I'm a little bit low on food. Uh, Gapple's probably not the best thing to eat for food, but hey, why not? So yeah. Anyway, next up, we have something called the Gaid, which, oh my goodness, that is like the missing flipping link. Okay, okay. He's not chasing me anymore. Uh, oh, he's going after the villagers. That thing is creepy. Okay, it doesn't really have a lot of health, but dang, all right, it has giant flippers for hands. Concopede, I need your help, buddy. Okay, okay, let's see. He's still coming for me. What if I just hit him once with, with my summoning shield? Oh, gosh, that is so scary how it just jumps at you. Let's see. Okay, not a ton. Oh, that attacked us a little bit, though. All right, so let's snipe him in the face. Bam, oh, he's just jumping up and down. What is this dude even doing? All right, what's up? What's up, bro? How's it going? Oh, you better stop jumping at me, bro. That's right. I have, I have my, my, my little minion behind you, and bam, you are dead. So, yeah, guys, that wasn't too bad. The, the Gekin, I'm sure they spawn in packs, so that would be really scary if you had, like, a whole pack of them just kind of running and jumping at you. But anyway, next up, we have something called a Click. Let's see. Oh, you are scary. Whoa. Oh, he's shooting crap at me. All right, this, all right, the sound that it's making is, is so weird. It sounds like kind of like a dinosaur, maybe like a little raptor. All right, what's up, dude? What's up? Yeah, I'm, I'm dodging it. I'm dodging. I'm dodging and weaving. All right, so let's take him out real quick. What is this? This guy's called the Clink, right? Okay, yeah, that makes Makes sense he throws clinks at you all right so he actually dropped his sight so i can throw these bad boys oh that is cool i actually really like that how much damage do these guys do looks like oh uh, well now i'm out all right guys but here we have something called the beholder oh my goodness this is a giant eyed octopus with like tentacles like waving in the wind okay this is oh oh okay all right that's not cool, bro. That actually scared the poop out of me. All right, let's, let's snipe him in the eye. I think that's the only spot that you can actually hit him. All right, how much health does he have, by the way? Not a ton. He's not really that hard to defeat, but he is scary. You are one ugly dude, okay? Let's just snipe you in the eye. There you go. Now he is gone. He drops glowstone for whatever reason, but hey, I will take it. All right, guys, and next up, we have something called the Cockademon. Let's spawn him in right here. Oh, you are scary, too. Everything has, like, one eyes if they're demons. All right, let's see what attack do you do buddy hey how's it going bro oh that is bad that is scary all right so i just got the wither effect it looks like he shoots wither fireballs at me what's up bro what's up can i hit him back no i cannot hit him back all right you're dead dude 
You are dead to me. Let's snipe him in the eye. All right, there we go. And bam, you are dead. So, so far, these mobs aren't that bad at killing. They do actually do a decent amount of damage, especially if you don't have any armor on. So, definitely be careful if you do install this Minecraft mod. But, yeah, guys, anyway, now we're moving over to the last two, which are going to be absolutely enormous, guys. Okay, so first up, we have something called an Asmodeus. So, let's go spawn him over here. We have an Asmodeus. Oh, oh, no, no. What the flip? What's going on? What is that thing that pops up on my screen? It's showing how much health he has. Okay, all right, all right. I actually need to disable that. All right, guys, so here we go. We are in battle. All right, let, let's eat some of this. We need to regenerate some health here. Okay, we should be good to go. So, yeah, this is the Azmuth. As you can see, he has a crap ton of health, and he also has a giant minigun. Oh, my gosh, that does a ton of damage. All right, we need some minions in here. So, I'm going to go see if I can hit him with my Verdant Venom Axe play. Let's see. Yeah, let's get some minions up in here. There we go. There we go. Okay, I actually can't even get close to him. Oh, Oh, what is this attack? He's shooting out stuff from his butt. He's pooping on me, guys. He's flipping pooping on me. All right, guys. So I got him down to about half health. And then he spawned in these giant minions called Azathoth that just keep shooting crap at you. So I actually need to kill these guys first before I can resume the battle. As you can see, he has like a protective shield over him, which is just crazy. I don't even know what to do right now. Oh, they're spawning in minions too. What the flip? This is like one of the craziest boss battles I've ever seen. All right, we need to take these guys out so that I don't die. There we go. All right, there's actually one more minion. He's like feeding him shields. All right, we have to go take this guy out before we get to back to the battle and we still have one more boss that we have to beat this is crazy all right let's go over here take him out the mini guns are absolutely just insane you can't even take him out all right there we go there we go i don't want to die i don't want to die i don't want to die i need to cap it up i'm gonna run out of flipping old apples all right there we go we should be able to take him out we might need to snipe him he's running away from me and bam he should be dead now all right back to you buddy all right guys we are so flipping close we just need to snipe him a few more times and bam there we go guys final doom oh gosh oh gosh he spawned in a bunch of oh crap oh gosh he just unleashed so many beasts at me okay what the flip do i do now all right guys so i'm gonna take out all these beasts real quick and then we will check out the final boss battle what are these guys even doing oh that is actually a lot of good stuff that he just dropped by the way oh no 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 what the heck is going on okay okay this has to stop this is insane this is absolutely insane what do i even do here okay i'm gonna die i am gonna die guys i'm sorry i can't i can't do this look at this this is I, I can't get away from that okay okay we just need to go we just need to get away because there are too many guys here what the flip is going on all right guys and for the last mob that we have i'm just gonna kill my creative mode because that last one was crazy but this one is called the rahovar oh crap yep it's pretty much just a giant boss so yeah here is the rahovar uh pretty much just a giant boss battle again probably the same thing it looks like he might be even worse but yeah guys uh let's see what happens if i snipe him in the face uh yeah this dude i don't even know if i want to fight this dude look literally he's shooting out green fire he's spawning in so many guys so let's see how fast I'm going. okay i am so dead i am so dead let's see how if i can even get close to this guy all right all right let's uh, we're moving around we're dodging and weaving here let's go let's get some hits in at the feet yeah that's right take that okay i'm on fire and guys i'm about to die and yeah this was fun while it lasted and bam i am so flipping dead i am on fire i, I don't even know how i'm not dead there. and bam are we dead are we dead bam <laughs> And I was pummeled by Rat Ovar. But guys, anyway, it looks like my world is absolutely just done. This is only phase one of Rat Ovar, so I don't even want to see the other phases, but I will check them out in the episode two that we do. So make sure to pound that guy that like button. Let's get to 1,000 likes, guys. And also, if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. But anyway, guys, I really hope you did enjoy. My name is Vic Jack, and I will see you guys all next time. Goodbye. See you guys. Well, my world is absolutely destroyed. Crap.